NBC Aquarium continues to mourn the death of Alita and care for a dolphin that shared a tank with her and now must live without her. The future of Lolita's former companion and the Miami Sea Aquarium itself is in question tonight. Local 10's Christina Vasquez live on Virginia Key with what she's learned today. Christina. And as a community, just as we experienced with the issues pertaining to Lolita, here we are seeing different perspectives shared by different community stakeholders. Three Pacific white-sided dolphins. They have been described as Lolita's companion. Showcased alongside the beloved orca who recently passed. And new tonight, take a look. The Shedd Aquarium in Chicago telling us they are now caring for 40-year-old Loki and her 5-year-old son, Ilelo. Transferred to their 3 million gallon cold water habitat August 3rd under NOAA authorization. Responding, they said, to quote, an urgent need to provide sanctuary from the Miami Aquarium living in insufficient environmental conditions, which leaves Ilola's dad, Lee. He was my favorite. A social marine mammal. Lee is like this phenomenal, gregarious dolphin. He loves people. Left to swim solo. I am just sad and heartbroken for him. Which is former trainer Trisha Nightswitz finds devastating watched his long-term companion die in the same pool as he was, and that could potentially be traumatizing for him. I follow you into the park through the jungle. While mourning the loss of Lolita, the group Truth for Toki taking to Instagram, advocating that Miami Aquarium ownership reunite him with his son and longtime companion Loki at the shed. He would be around animals with which he has a prior relationship, has that social bond already in place, and that, we believe, would be the best for his mental and physical health. In recent years, community standards on marine mammal shows have been shifting, explains brand and marketing expert Alan Adamson. They have to shift their focus away from being a circus or an entertainment venue to an educational venue. Meantime, PETA is telling us tonight that they would like to see these dolphins, again, these were Lolita's long-term tank mates, be released and relocated to a seaside sanctuary. As for the Miami Aquarium, we did send a series of questions throughout the day, but I've yet to hear back. Reporting live for you, I'm Christina Vasquez, Local 10 News. Christina, thank you.